Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Tuesday, February 18th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the 18th of February, that does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading, and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading. So not everything is going to resonate with everyone or there's just a really slim chance that it's all gonna resonate with you, okay? Just keep in mind, this is a reading meant for thousands of people, all right? So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So overall energy for today is an interesting one. We have, the Ten of Swords that has come out here. Oh, oops, I forgot. Hold on, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so unprepared. I forgot my other light. Wait, wait. We have the Ten of Swords. Oh, wait, you guys. Hold on. <laughs> I'm a mess this morning. Um, I did not want to get out of bed this morning. It was weird. Like, I... Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> that was my light. <laughs> I'm such a mess right now. Okay. Um, I did not want to get out of bed this morning for some reason. I don't know why I woke up and I was like, I just, I just, can I just lay here for like the rest of eternity? Wouldn't, would that be okay? <laughs> so I'm a little like, I don't know. I'm a little spacey today, but I forgot my light. So now I have it. Yay. Okay. So <laughs> sorry guys, back to overall energy. We have the 10 of swords. Yeah. Which is a good thing because it's it means that there's an end to something, you know, the worst is behind you. However, I feel like this is really fresh and new for some of you, especially with the fact that, you know, you have this person lying there dead with all ten swords on this side of the card, whereas on this side of the card, you have that armor, you know, still with the ten swords, but now there's that person watching or looking back on it. Okay. Well, it's this side of the card came out. So that came out. So that's kind of giving me a feeling like this is fresh and new. Okay. You do have the Ten of Cups as the overall energy. That's great. I'm sure some of you peeped that already. But look at what's on the other side of the deck. The Two of Swords. And it's the t side of the Two of Swords where we've got a storm of ruin, y'all. All right. So what this feels like here, and it's funny because there is someone specific that I know of. Um, that I just, I'm literally seeing your face, and I mentioned that to you a few days ago. Um, I forget, was it, well, actually, it was, yet. wouldn't it be yesterday's reading? I don't remember. It. I don't remember. I am so delirious right now. <laughs> and I got, like, a full night's worth of sleep. I don't know what's wrong with me today, but anyway, um, it feels like there's something fresh and new that has just come to an end, um, and it could be a family situation, hint, hint. Um, but with that two of swords energy, it's like there, what I'm feeling is like you're needing to, in the face of something that has, that has closed out, that is, that is, that either has closed out or is closing out in service of greater f fulfillment emotionally or in some sort of, sort of ser family situation, there's this period right now where you're working, you're having to work really hard to keep your emotions and your mind in check. That's what I'm getting with this side of the Two of Swords. It's like, it's a struggle right now to keep your mind and your ego even from like running completely amok. It's a, it's, it, the, the struggle is real <laughs> right now. The struggle is real, y'all. To, um, keep your emotions in check also keep the, the waters of your emotions from like completely overtaking you the thing about this is this just feels and what spirit is saying about it is this just feels like a necessary step in the process it's not like you've done anything wrong it's not like you're going in the wrong direction it's not like you've made a mistake it's not like you've mishandled anything this is literally a natural part of the situation because something has come to an end or at least the worst is behind you in terms of that and what you're moving towards or whatever has ended or is completed in your life is creating a sense of moving towards this your ten of cups your ultimate wish fulfillment a stronger sense of 
happiness, contentment, uh, even family, you know, that kind of thing. But right now, you're dealing with, I'm hearing you're dealing with the af aftermath, and I guess to finish the phrase, Spirit did say, you're dealing with the aftermath of the decision that you've made, but this is not the wrong decision, or at least that's not what they're trying to say. They're just saying that this is a natural part of the process. This is a natural step. They do want to say that you're doing quite well with it. However, you have to go along with it. Just keep going is literally what they're saying. Just keep going. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Yeah, all right. Okay. So, with all of that said, let's see what else we've got for the day. Um, so... I did yesterday, we had a live session um, about Mercury and retrograde. If you guys haven't checked that out, I have posted it in a, in a card on the top right of your screen. Also, I will link it in the description box and I will post it in the end screen at the end of this video if you guys want to check it out. It was a really great chat. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was a dual. It was a dual live stream. So I, I I was streaming on Instagram and here on YouTube at the same time. There was a little bit of a mishap because I, here on YouTube I forgot to actually click start live stream on YouTube. <laughs> so so the first like eight minutes of the live stream. <laughs> on YouTube is cut off, but it doesn't matter. We weren't really talking about much else that I didn't <laughs> repeat later on, but <laughs> it was a lot of fun, guys. It was a lot of fun. Um, you should totally check it out. We were talking about Mercury um, being in retrograde for, uh, and what that means for us and what we have to look forward to, what it's creating for us. I think it was a really great session um, and it was, a, it was a bit of a, a question and answer session. So I highly recommend if you guys want, if you feel so inclined, go ahead and check that out. Yeah, excellent. Let's get into the rest of the reading here. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Tuesday, February 18th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. I'm going to give this... Yeah, I'm going to give this four shuffles today. One. The collective. Tuesday, February 18th, 2022. Woo! Three. And... Four. All right, let's see what we've got for the collective today. What 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 else would you like to discuss with us today, Spirit? Tuesday, February eighteenth, twenty twenty. For the collective here, Tuesday, February fifth, February eighteenth, not February fifth. That was weird. Maybe February 5th was significant for some of you? I don't know. I don't know where that came from. February 18th. We've got a card here. Alright. My eyes are closed, so I can't see what's happening. But Tuesday, February 18th. It's kind of funny. Tuesday, February 18th. 2020. Really? That's it? Just oh, okay. Okay, there we go. All right. Overall energy is the nine of wands with ah the moon. 
Okay. And then you have the Nine of Cups, the Chariot, the King of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. Good God, you guys, it's like the same theme keeps coming up over and over again. The thing about this is the Chariot was crossed. And I'm saying good God because the same thing comes up over and over. It's like there's apprehension in moving forward. For some of you with the Seven of Pentacles here, it's past situations but for others of you specifically what i'm getting is you're afraid of what is to come you're afraid of what your harvest might be and it really could be because you have this is something very very new very new for you even though somehow i feel like it shouldn't be new and yet it is for some reason maybe you have a different understanding this time you have a different perspective. You have a different point of view. You've learned more. And so you see it, it, there's, there's just an energy of approaching this from like a newbie perspective with this page of Pentacles 1111. It was brand new you, a brand new cycle. Fire truck. There is, ap <clears throat> there is apprehension here. There sure is. Someone doesn't know how to move forward. Either you or someone else. Someone doesn't know how to move forward here. With this King of Wands energy. It's, it's the side of the card in which now the, the King's Salamander, his Salamander companion, has now turned into this massive wise snake. And during the night... Or we could say subconsciously or internally, he's having a conversation with this very wise creature, the snake. A lot of people don't like snakes. They despise snakes. They're afraid of snakes. They think snakes are terrible things. They're not. They're actually very wise. And in this card, the King of Wands is discussing basically is discussing his plan of action with the snake. Often this can represent having conversations outside of the norm of indoctrination or the status quo or uh, public opinion. This is often um, a time where someone is choosing their own methods, their own choices, their own mindsets, their own way of thinking. They're being the independent individual that they are in this King of Wands rather than following the flock, okay? But, with that said, you do have that with the Nine of Cups, but also with the Chariot that was crossed. And it's like, what I'm getting here for you is, you're going to move either way. You're going to make some, take some sort of action and move in a certain direction. For some of you, like this one person that I know of, that would, this probably really resonates for, you have no choice but to move. Oh, God, you can't see the card, sorry. You have no choice but to move with the Chariot here, but... Again, okay, Spirit just said plan of action. We're trying to figure out a plan of action here. Okay, that's fine. For some of you, this Seven of Pentacles energy is, yes, <clears throat> Spirit keeps saying it is, you reap what you've sown. However, this is a situation where you're probably starkly, starkly aware of that. You're probably super hyper aware of that element, the fact that you reap what you, so what you sow. So, with that said, you're very apprehensive about or you're very guarded or you're very particular there it is that's a better word particular about what seeds you're planting and how you're nurturing them because uh yeah i'll say this because you learned your lesson quite well and you are not trying to ever recreate that shit again <laughs> i know that's right <laughs> okay so the, with the overall energy being the Nine of Wands and the Moon, I really want to tell you what I get, a sense that I get from that energy is you just need to relax, okay? With this Nine of Wands energy here, this is, this is, this side of the card is like, um, this woman is coaxing this gentleman into the cave, but it's for rest and rejuvenation and recuperation. It's like, the sense that I get from this card is that you've been on this journey for so long, you've been dealing with whatever this is for you for so long that it's time 
to take a break. It's time to take a rest. It's time for you to recuperate. Because you're going to have to move forward soon. The chariot. And the direction that you're moving forward with or in is a balanced and harmonious one. It is the right direction for you. But I just, I just get this sense between the Nine of Wands and the Moon here. Especially with the side of the Moon where it's the High Priestess that's offering you. It's like basically you know, offering the red or the blue pill in the matrix, right? That's how I see this side of the card. But you're in the process of awakening. And and so for some of you, you're in like the very beginning or you're in the very throes of this awakening process. For others of you, you've been in this process for some time. Either way, you're really encouraged to take a break and sit back and just chill for a second. And allow yourself to come up with some plan or at least allow yourself to acclimate to this new level a little bit more like you don't have to rush anything take your time take it slowly even though yes this chariot energy is a fast moving energy but you don't have to move too fast Okay, Spirit is saying let's go to the clarifying section now. What I want to clarify first is the King of Wands, the Nine of Cups, with the Chariot. I get a very strong sense with the King of Wands and the Nine of Cups that there is definitely a personal victory here. Okay, it's something that's... And I feel like it's something that you're celebrating internally. There may be a few individuals that are aware of what's going on for you and they're celebrating with you too, but mainly this is an internal victory. That's what I'm feeling with the King of Wands and the Nine of Cups there. All right, so and whatever this either it is because of this internal victory that you are moving forward or you are moving forward is that or you right. It's either because of this internal victory or this, this, this victory that you have or whatnot that's gone on. Because of that, that you're moving forward. Or the victory is that you're moving forward. Or it's both. For some of you specifically, I'm getting that this chance to move forward is a direct result of you taking your power back in some way. Wow, isn't that just excellent? <laughs> All right, so let's look at this deeper. King of Wands, Nine of Cups, and the Chariot. I really do feel like you are like building, you're putting together some sort of plan of action for yourself right now. <clears throat> in the how. You lit okay. <laughs> I I'm gonna tell you what I literally just heard. You're planning you're making some sort of plan of action on how you're gonna take the kids and be free. It's literally what I just heard. So <laughs> like this is I'm pretty sure you know who you are at this point. I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna put you on blast like that, even though you know you've already told your story, but I'm pretty sure you know who you are at this point. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, um, and for those of you who have no idea who I'm talking about, don't worry about it. It's okay. Again, this is a general reading, but oftentimes there are certain people that will come to mind while I'm doing these. All right. I'm going to give this one more shuffle, and then we're going to look at this King of Wands, Nine of Cups, and Chariot energy. All righty. What is this? How funny would that be if that was the Queen of Wands now? I didn't really get to see what it was, but what is it? No, it's the Two of Wands. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. See? Yes. All right. Cool. So we have the Two of Wands as the clarifier here. Oh, my hand is really itchy all of a sudden. With the Nine of Swords. 
at the bottom of the deck as an overall energy. All right, I'm going to get a little bit more on this because already this is exactly what we were talking about. There's some sort of decision that's trying to be made here, some sort of plan of action that is being put together, okay? And with the fact that the chariot came out crossed initially, there is no movement until this choice is being made, okay? Now, for some of you, this is straight up logistics it's like where are we going to go how are we going to get there how much money do we need how much space is that how much space do we need like what what's around it where are the kids going to go to school where are the grocery stores where's the where's the gas all of that stuff like the logistics about it nine of swords <clears throat> anxiety fear apprehension i don't know how the hell this is going to happen but you know what damn it we're going to make it happen that's what i'm hearing I want to look a little bit more into this two of wands here. Oh, okay. Well, that was the three of swords, but we don't want to talk about that. Because <laughs> that shit's in the past. That's why you're moving forward. So, like, why even talk about the three of swords? Oh, shit. Well, would you look at that? It's the queen of wands. She's come out in reverse, though. <gasps> Stop it. The king of wands. Oh, my God. Overall energy is the Queen of Cups. Well, shit. That's interesting. Oh, boy. Um, okay. There was a direction that I could have gone in with this. Um, and I guess spirit is encouraging me to do so. So I'm going to do it because I picked up on it for a split second. Um, but I want you guys to keep in mind that this is not for everybody. Okay. And in some cases, this is not even anything that's necessary to really be spoken of. But it, I picked up on it. It came through. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to put it out there and you'll know who it resonates for. But for some people, there's a situation here in which there's a third party. Uh, there is a feminine energy here that is a false representation of a, of a counterpart. Maybe even a divine counterpart. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse, but then we have the Queen of Cups. I honestly, I don't even, I don't want to go any further into that. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to know. And to be quite honest, I'm not really getting it much else on that either. Because I can't really tell. What I'm, okay, all right, well, what I'm getting is that, you know, this person is posing as the Queen of Wands, but they aren't really the Queen of Wands. And the true Queen of Wands, or who the true counterpart would be, is off in the queen of cups energy holding unconditional love gee that's sweet okay i'm gonna leave that one right where it is because i don't want i, I i'm really not trying to get into all that drama but the other thing that i'm seeing here back to the individual that is working on moving forward in some way. We have a balance between masculine and feminine energy here. Here's the thing, the advice that you need that's going to help you in making this decision right now with this two of wands. You have the king of wands energy here, which is that action-oriented space. It's like, okay, I know I have to make something happen. I know I have to move. I know I have to do this. I know I have to do that. And you're ready to take the action. But the feminine side of you, I think, is being ignored or neglected here. Because I think at this point, you really need to be just working on getting into the alignment. Queen of Wands, in my opinion, as a reader, is a minor or is like a, a physical embodiment of the law of attraction. So what I'm seeing with this Queen of Wands in reverse is that you're not quite in the right alignment yet. You want to take action. It's like you have the King of Wands energy here. You, the masculine energy is... Um, 
the masculine energy is ready and attentive it is if you, if you can look if you see it it's like he's staring right at the queen of wands like whenever you're ready let's do this and it's like the king of wands is waiting for that right time all right because the king of wands does represent that biding your time waiting for the right time to strike so it could be from an action point of view you are all of your attention is on your inner feminine right now working on getting into alignment so that action can be taken the guidance in that from the overall energy with the Queen of Cups is focus on your emotions. Right now, especially with the Two of Swords that came out in the beginning of the reading, right now you are in a very emotional state. And before you can make any sort of moves, any sort of big changes or whatnot, whatever, you have got to get your emotions in check. And that's not to say that you're an emotional wreck or that you're doing anything wrong. No. Again, just like Spirit was saying in the very beginning, that is a natural part of the process. This is something that just has to be dealt with. You're going in the right direction anyway. You're doing the right thing for yourself anyway. But right now, you need to focus on your emotional well-being your emotional stability, your emotional balance, your emotional health. You have to give yourself some self-care. You have to nurture yourself right now as much as you possibly can. I understand in some cases there could be some sort of like deadline or something like that, but do the best that you absolutely can at this moment to nurture yourself into alignment so that you can make your move, okay? Yeah, screw that third-party situation. I'm not even trying to fuck with that. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. If y'all want to look into that, you can go to some other reader because I'm not trying to look it. <laughs> I really don't. Like, I'm not even trying to waste time on that shit. Because honestly, if someone else is if someone is fucking around with someone else, you can't do anything about that. All you really can do is sit in your Queen of Cups, unconditional love energy. But damn it, girl, keep your boundaries. That's all I'm going to say about that. Like, Fuck that noise. Yuck. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> Let's look at the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles here. Actually, you know what? Yes, I want to do this from the Golden Universal Tarot because this I want like straight up advice on from Spirit on. Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. All right, because there is, there is a little bit of a fear and apprehension. It's like, what are we manifesting? What are we doing? I'm, this is a whole new world. <laughs> oh, man, I cracked myself up. But that's really like, this is something brand new. Brand new for you. Okay, so you got, I, mean, I just heard you've got to give yourself a chance to acclimate. Like, none of this hit the ground running bullshit man like give yourself some time to settle in or something at least get your feet on the ground at least get your like your land legs you know what i mean like come on one last shuffle and then i want to get the spirits advice seven of pentacles page of pentacles what advice do you have for this energy spirit seven of pentacles page of pentacles Nothing? What do you mean, nothing? Big fat lying liar, full of lies. <laughs> yes, I did just call spirit a big fat lying liar, full of lies. Because, gosh, why aren't they saying anything? What's your, <laughs> what's your advice here, spirit? Seven of, there it is. Seven of pentacles, page of pentacles, and then you have the world. Okay, see, I told you. Oh my god, and look, there's that nine of swords again. All right, you have the world here, which is saying to me that a cycle is completing, a closing out. Oh, Lord, this is a big old stack. Eight of swords, justice, nine of cups, the lovers, the queen of wands again, the wheel of fortune, and the hermit. <sighs> boy, oh, boy. You know, this would be really great if it weren't for that eight and nine of swords. You have justice, you have the nine of cups, you have the lovers with the queen of wands again. You have, uh, and the lovers with the queen of wands is saying, it literally like the, as soon as I, I spoke through those two cards, it said to me, the choice is yours. You can have anything you want. Literally. Literally anything you want. All you need to do is define it. 
get down to the bottom of yourself. Like, get into yourself right now. Go, go within and figure that out. For some of you, for others of you, you literally just need to shine your light and allow your light to change the karma of your, the, the destiny of your karma, if that's even the correct thing to say. You have the Eight of Swords with, I mean, like, literally, I don't even want to talk about this Eight or Nine of Swords. Like, screw that shit. Look at this. Justice with the Nine of Cups, the Lovers, the Queen of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the, the, the Hermit. I mean, the only reason, the reason you are here to begin with is because you've been doing this internal work. So I really, I mean, I can't even tell you. What the hell is this Eight and Nine of Swords here for? Some of you are trying to rush. Some of you are trying to rush. And others of you are like, oh my god, I don't know what's coming. What the hell is coming? This is crazy. You're breaking yourself free from some sort of prison, though. That's the cycle that's closing out. Eight of Swords with the world. All right? Like, literally... With the world here, like, this Eight and Nine of Swords is complete and other, completely and utterly, like, pointless. It's a, it's a mute, it's a moot point. Like, I don't even want to discuss it any longer. And that's only because this is an app, this is an effect of a cycle closing out for you, period. So I don't want to give it any attention. I don't want you to give it any attention. I want you to focus on all this glorious shit right here. Justice, Nine of Cups, the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Wands, and the Lovers. Come on. I want to go back here. Spirit is taking me back here. This situation could be that the feminine is out of alignment and is with a karmic partner in this King of Wands, not the true... You aligned with this King of Wands here because of your misalignment with yourself. And thus you have this Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck that's saying, get to the bottom of your emotions. And then you have the Hermit here, which is encouraging you or has been encouraging you to figure yourself out. And what I see here, as opposed to here, is... This same Queen of Wands aligning with the true person. Do you see this now? Or it goes up here. Nine of Cups, the Lovers, the Queen of Wands, Justice. I don't want to cover Justice's face. Justice and the Hermit. Do you see? Do you see what I'm saying? You're aligning with the true partner now. You're aligning with the true destiny, with the true soul path. I mean, you're you're in greater alignment than you have ever been in your life at this moment. Give yourself some time and some space to acclimate to this new level. Stop freaking out so much, damn it. Eight of swords, nine of swords. What's underneath the nine of swords? Ah, look at that. The moon. Illusionary. Mm. Mm. Gee. Would you look at that? <laughs> you are doing a great job. You are literally doing a great job. Stay the course. I literally, like this, This I'm going to be honest with you guys. This, <laughs> I, I really hope this resonates with a bunch of other people because this really feels like a personal reading <laughs> for this one person right now. Oh gosh. <laughs> Mm. Okay, let's get your oracle guidance, and I'm going to do that from the Gaia Oracle today. Like, it's to the point where I'm, I'm having to struggle to not say your name. <laughs> Oh my god. And it's and it's not even like it would be a bad thing because again, you've already shared your story with us, but I'm trying not to make this a personal reading. So I'm really hoping that this resonates with with other people. <laughs> oh lord. All right. One last shuffle. And then 
we'll see what we've got for you today. What's your oracle guidance today for the collective here? Or maybe it's just for this one person. Who knows? But I'm going to say, let's aim it for the collective too. Okay, fine. You know, just, you know, just for shits and giggles, right? <laughs> oh, there it is. Card number 25. Stop it. Jesus Christ. Like, come on, spirit. Oh. Card number 25. Liberation. Breaking free from a negative attachment. Like, are you kidding me right now? Like, will you stop hijacking my, my readings, please? <laughs> if you want a personal reading, you just let me know, damn it. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this. This is so funny. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm losing my mind. Okay, here we go. Liberation. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Whether you realize it or not, you have become too emotionally attached or dependent on someone or something. Or you have allowed or inadvertently caused someone to get too emotionally attached to you. What at first seemed like a healthy re friendship or interest now seems to be taking over your life or is creating too much codependence. A situation that initially seemed like a positive has now revealed its negative side. This is, in effect, like a form of addiction. You are advised to examine this issue and then create some space between you. For your sake and the sake of others, you must do whatever it takes to break free from this negative emotional attachment. Initially, this may cause some resentment and even a sense of panic, but the end result will be worth it. When you manage to emotionally detach yourself from this issue, you will have learned a valuable lesson and this will serve you well in the future. Your affirmation with this card is, I release myself from all negative attachment I trust that this is for my highest good. I trust that this is for the highest good of all. I help others most by not allowing myself or them be codependent. I guess that should be to be codependent. I look at every situation in a balanced way. Let's read through that affirmation again. I release myself from all negative attachment. I trust that this is for my highest good. I trust that this is for the highest good of all. I help others most by not allowing myself or them be codependent. I look at every situation in a balanced way beautiful so there you have it thank you so much for tuning in i hope this was helpful for you but with that said i hope you have a fantastic day and i look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning yeah and also um you should see it here at the end screen but um if you want to check out yesterday's live stream live session about Mercury in retrograde, I highly recommend that you do so. It was a really great session. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!